Hey, y'all. I'm hoping that you have enjoyed the little teasers that we've been giving lately. Yes, it is something that is going to be appearing very shortly when we announce the launching of Patreon this weekend. I hope you are as excited as I am to get things started. And if you've already guessed what it is, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. See you this weekend. Bye. Hey y'all, it's American Mom. I'm ready to watch the next episode of Sopranos. A lot happened last time. Um, Tony's having to lay low. He went to his old job, sat behind a desk, couldn't really find much purpose and what he was doing anymore and was bored all the time. And meanwhile, Uncle Junior was under house arrest is what we focused on. And uh, Bobby, that does not live with him, but checks in on him every day, got it. He's with the Sopranos, but he's not, he doesn't do any of the killing and the big stuff. He's like low on the totem pole and just takes care of Uncle Junior. Y'all explain that to me. Thank you. He met a lady friend and Richie, Janice, and um, Uncle Junior are still talking shit about Tony. So he needs to sleep with one eye open. But I'm ready to see the next episode. I don't know what it's called. If I did, I'd mispronounce it or call it something else, wouldn't I? All right, let's do this. I don't want him around my kids. Who, Richie? You heard me. What the fuck are you talking about? Ask really? Gia Gator. Richie told me all about that. The transmission slipped out of gear. Richie's lucky that he didn't get crushed by the car, too. Yeah. You know, you just can't stand to see me happy, can you, you motherfucker? I just said to you, showed up your ass. They love each other a lot. Music in the background. I'm talking about those kind of things. I'm talking about a family, marriage, children. No, I didn't want to find someone. I have you. I'll die without you. No, you won't. You forget about me in two weeks. Uh -uh. No, I'm telling you, if you go, I'll kill myself. Don't you fucking threaten me, Rena. Then I find out you're still dealing blow on those garbage routes. For that, I'm losing a fucking bit. Next time you'll find yourself in the back of one of your trucks. I've been alive for 10 fucking years. My uncle's just asking for what my father would have given him if he was boss when Richie got out of prison. And it had nothing to do with they were brothers. You respected my father and you respect Richie. Those who want respect, Give respect. See, he just told you to shut the fuck up. And he told me to go fuck myself. That coke is my lifeline right now. Break it down, Jim. The choices you leave us. We need allies to do what you're thinking about. An airline ticket from the Scatino bus stop. Tony made the guy order blocks of these things through the sporting goods store. First, you have to tie the ticket to Tony. And he's too smart to use any of them himself. He probably moved them by now. Oh. However, this engagement party for the sister, I'm going to want to wire you up. Of course. I know you're sensitive. Yeah, fuck that. What the fuck was I, his errand boy? Saturn, yeah. Running all over, looking for his kid's science teacher's car. What the fuck is that? Any faith I had went out the window that very day. He's got a change of heart. He was wanting to skip town. He's going to die. Soon. Because Tony's going to find out about all this. Um, I just wanted to share my happiness with everybody here. And I have been looking for my soulmate for all of my life. Oh, come hey. on, hey. She's at her breaking point. I knew she was going to try and do something like this. Make him feel like shit. This is not a healthy relationship. Jesus Christ, Reen. I don't care no more what happened. To be a dancer, be a prostitute after that, I don't want to. I don't want to. All right. <laughs> One minute he's talking about how much he loves Tony Soprano, mm -hmm. and in the next breath, he's a junior G man. He's talking about Rico predicates and probable cause. All of a sudden, we're the good guys. 
It's the worst case of Stockholm Syndrome I've seen since Patty Hearst. You don't need that shit to happen the other day. You talked to the king of Dermabrasion about what went down. I'm talking to him, and he's looking at his reflection in the plexiglass. <laughs> you cutie patootie. Maybe someday I will be free. But if you had come that day, I might have done something that I would be sorry for forever. And so I wanted to thank you for thinking for the both of us. And all he can think about is Davy and the Soprano situation, and that's the real reason. Do you feel responsible for her suicide attempt? I was banging her for two years. How many women I've been through? I don't know why I just don't say fuck her with this one. Why do you think? Well, she's a sweet kid underneath it all, and I think she's seriously depressed. You feel for her. Larry's out. Oh, shit. Fuck. I knew it. I fucking knew it. But he doesn't care who he follows now. He's cute, too. I do him myself. Who's that speaking here? Somebody speaking? <laughs> I'm better off with Tony. He's turning on Richie. Definitely. Go fuck yourself then, because I'm trying to be a nice guy. I went through a lot of trouble to get that number. Why, so you can send me to a hospital? Lock me up? He doesn't want you around his kids. Fucking hell. What happened? How was that? Oh. Oh, shit. I got it from Richie himself at my house yesterday. He's going to take you out, and Larry Burris, and anybody else who doesn't go along. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Your uncle tells the truth. What the fuck truth. is Richie telling you all this? He thinks I'm with him. Exactly. Really? Get it done. It's going to happen this episode or in the finale next episode. You know, I I've been in this house cooking your fucking dinner and taking care of that fucking black hole upstairs all day. Your voice down. She hears everything. Not tonight. I gave it to Nebutal. And what if he was gay? What difference does it make? <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh, hell. What are you looking at? Yeah. You won't cry now. Oh my god. I want to I want to kill him through the screen. <gasps> the fuck out of here. I'm in no mood for you. <gasps> oh. 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 I didn't think she was teasing. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Again? <laughs> Janice, somebody else was going to do that. Don't he hit me. That was an accident. <laughs> Twice? What are you doing? Take a shower. Give me the clothes and the shoes you got on. You are going to help us build a case against Tony Soprano. And that's it. And then you're going to go do your time for selling heroin. And then you get out and start a new life. Get him out of here. Get rid of him. Bring his car to the salvage crush. Before I eat anything from Satriales. What kind of a fucking chance did she have with you as her mother? Oh, here we go. You're always nagging her about her weight. She goes out on a date, she comes home, you call her a fucking tramp. I'm on the way out in the car. I never said anything of the kind. I heard you. You make things up. You're not gonna kiss me. What? You're cruel. That's what you are. Is she oh, crazy? Fuck this. Oh, no. No. Oh. Oh, she's oh. laughing. <laughs> all in all, though, I'd say it was a pretty good visit. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with our family, Tony? A lot. I go to a shrink. 
she says that her mother was a narcissistic personality. And when she turned out that way, who the fuck knows? What'd you do with him? We buried him. On a hill. Oh. Overlooking a little river. With pine cones all around. You did? Come on, Janice, what the fuck? What do you care what we did with him? They buried pieces of him a little bit here, a little bit there. All right. Go ahead. Goodbye, Janice. I don't want to see you in season three either. Camilla, 13 years of marriage. Don't make me make you an accessory after the fact. An accessory after the fact? Holy shit. Stop asking. Oh, my God. After Meadows' graduation, me and Rosalie Priel are going to Rome. For three weeks. I love it. And you've got to find a tennis clinic for Meadow to join. Because if I have to do it, Tony, I just might commit suicide. Wow. That was an enjoyable episode. Bye-bye, Richie. I can't believe Janice is the one who did it. Now she's, you know, left. Bye-bye, Janice. Sal is not going to make it. Big P, it, it, I think by the end of this season, he's going to be found out that he's doing all this and they'll take care of him. He'll be going through the meat grinder next or whatever they were doing to Richie's body. It was disgusting. Oh my gosh. Carmela's had it with the Russian chick on the side. She's known about it for a long time. She shouldn't have let it get that far. I mean, she, you know, it, whatever. But she's tired of it now. Um, and she said she will, she said to Victor when she visited him at the paint store, she was like, I'm not going to be, you know, married forever or for long or something like that. In other words, she's going to leave him soon, probably once the kids get out. And then he was kind of, he didn't know what to say. But it has to do, obviously, she's not putting it together in her mind that he don't want to see you anymore because of who your husband is. You know, he wants to stay in one piece. And her friend had to, you know, bring that up to her for her to see it. Tony's trying to end it with the Russian chick. Finally. Finally. His conscience, conscience kicks in. Carmela is not sympathetic toward it at all. At the end there, she was just like, I'm going away with my friends. We're going to Rome. He went off to Italy without her. She was like, oh, why not? She said they're going to go shopping. They're going to go see the sights. Um, and then she gave Tony a list of things that he's going to need to do. And he needs to do it or she just might kill herself. I was like, what can he say to that? She's, she's getting ballsy. And I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I'm anxious to see how all this plays out. Richie's up and gone, disappeared. His kid's not going to wonder or, you know what I mean? Like, everybody was expecting a wedding and now Janice is gone. And, I mean, they can make people disappear. I'm not questioning that. I'm just like, will they figure it out? I'm not the face. Thank you for watching this with me until the next video and the next time. Bye.